Last week, sugarcane farmers were informed that there was a significant decrease in the sugar price estimates for their first payment. Farmers are concerned because they say the sharp drop of about $7 per ton will have a negative impact, especially on small farmers. Today, we caught up with the chief executive officer in the Ministry of Agriculture, Jose Alpuche. Last week, Friday, uh, BSI gave out a, a rather low price indeed, um, but they have been dialoguing with the associations uh, separately. Uh, we just received a letter from the, well, copy of a letter from the BSCFA uh, appealing to BSI to, to take measures to improve the prices. Um, at the moment, it's being dealt with at the at the uh, commercial level between the farmers and the um, and the the factory, um, and we're giving that time to to mature for that discussion to mature. Um, however, the the very high prices over the over the last few years had more to do with with uh, global uh, demand, and that is now uh, waning. So now we, as we had expected, we would see a reduction in the in the price of sugar at this uh, at this point in time. Um, it is something we're monitoring very closely. The SICB will meet probably next week after the uh, round of discussions between the the, the millers and the uh, farmers uh, are completed. Alpucha was also asked about the projected figure of 1.7 million tons of sugar in the fields. He said that figure more than likely will be decreased. Well, as you know, we have quite a few variables with the, with the, sugar, uh, with the sugar crop, with the estimate. The drought has affected uh, and impacted output. Um, the, there was a relatively high, what we thought was a bit high in terms of the crop estimate. That matter was discussed in a, in a sugarcane production committee earlier this week. Uh, together they're working on, on, on a revised estimate and the SEPC should be meeting on Monday again. Um, I believe what will end up happening, or there seems to be agreement both by, well, by all parties, including government, that uh, uh, quotas will be issued based on a 1.3 million uh, ton crop this year. And we will attempt to institute a 60-day review. Um, as you know, this thing is not an exact science. If the weather is perfect, we would do a review fairly early. But if the rains continue, that might impact the, the startup of crop. So what we're, we're hoping to, to get full agreement on is that after the first 60 days of the crop, we will do a comprehensive review so that we don't end up where, where we ended up uh, uh, earlier this year. We're closer to the crop. Uh, we needed to, to fix, um, uh, well, the, to revise the estimates, and it was not possible. Alpucha said it also is important to take into account factory capacity. The shrimp industry in Belize has been under strain over the last couple of months. Some workers at the shrimp farms have been let go because of the loss being experienced. According to the chief executive officer in the Ministry of Agriculture, Jose Alpuche, this is as a result of shrimp farmers having to make some difficult decisions. There is a, a viral infection in the, in the industry. It's been affecting the industry for a few months now. Um, all farms have had to dry out, basically uh, stop production to clean out and to then restart. The industry is taking the a little bit of a of a, of a difficult, uh, or, or let me say they're, they're taking the hard way around it, but it's the best way around it, to restock with new genetic material. Um, and that's the, that's the wisest decision that they could have taken. It's taken a little time. Uh, originally, we, they thought that, that they would be able to restock by early, um, early next year but it appears that we'll have a few months delay in, in that industry. The initial estimate of loss within the industry is $22 million. However, it is expected that figure might increase. There are about 15 shrimp farms across the country.